Hi there. Today, we're going to explore the fine slot activity in the process flow module of FlexSim. This is a really useful feature when you're working with warehouse models and need to find the right storage slot for incoming items. Let's start by building a simple model to understand how it works. First, drag a source object into the model. Connect it to a queue, this is where items will wait before being picked up. We'll use a forklift to move items from the queue into storage. Next, go to the warehouse library and drag in a rack. You can adjust its size by setting the number of bays to 8, levels to 4, and slots per bay to 2. Once that's done, let's copy and paste it to create a total of 4 racks in the layout. When you drop a storage object like a rack into your model, FlexSim automatically creates a storage system in the toolbox. Let's create a slot label called SKU and make sure the indexed option is enabled. This makes slot searching faster. On the source object, let's also add a label to each incoming item. Use the on creation trigger to create a label called type with a random value between 1 and 4. This will help us later when matching items to slots. Now, we'll paint the slots in the racks using the Paint Slot Labels tool. Set the label as SKU and for simplicity, choose the mode Paint All Slots in the same bay. This quickly assigns SKU values to the rack slots. Next, let's configure material movement using process flow. Create a general process flow and add an event trigger to generate a token whenever an item arrives in the queue. Assign the entering item as box. We'll then acquire the forklift using the acquire activity and follow that with a load activity to pick up the item. Make sure to set the task executor and item references correctly. Before we unload the item, we need to figure out where to place it. This is where the find slot activity comes in. You'll find it under warehousing activities. The find slot activity is used to search the model storage system for available slots that match specific conditions. In our case, we'll match the SKU label on the slot with the type label on the incoming item. Assign the slot reference to the item. To get the rack reference where that slot is located, use an assign label activity to grab the storage object associated with the slot. Now, you can use the unload activity to place the item in the assigned slot and then release the forklift.
When you run the model now, you might notice that all items are getting placed into a single rack and capacity isn't being checked here. To fix that, go back to the find slot activity and add an extra where condition to check that the slot has space available. Also, you can also sort the results using order by bay ID so the forklift picks the nearest available slot. Run the model again and observe how the items are now being distributed more logically. And that's it. You've just learned how to use the find slot activity to control item placement in your warehouse simulation. Keep experimenting, and as always, happy simulating!